everyone and welcome to the Arcade Saga. So yeah, this is a very special video. I never ever thought that I would be able to make this one because uh, as you probably already saw the title of, uh, of this one, this is very spectacular. It's a miniature fail and this fail has currently 13 spikes in bloom. It's crazy. So yeah, I'm going to zoom out, of course, so we can uh, see them and I'm going to count, uh, count them. But uh, let's uh, zoom out easily. And there they are coming. Beautiful yellow with red dots on the blooms. And luckily I have a name for this. This is a cross and I will have the name in the screen. But uh, yeah, beautiful, right? It's they are very nice, almost like a round circle shaped together. And I was waiting for weeks because this is the last one that opened up, and I wouldn't start filming before all the blooms uh, were open together. But here, as you can see, is one is already uh, dropping off, or I, I'm saying already, but this one blooms for quite a while, luckily. But this one was the first spike to open. So yeah, all those spikes, all those blooms, at least one bloom per spike had to open before I uh, would film this. So I did take some pictures, but I still was waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally, they all opened up and we have some bugs to come. I even have a dry bud here. And I think that I know what the reason is. This is a dry bud um, that, that came off the spike. But um, I think the reason is because I have aphids uh, also on this plant and thrips and I it seems that they are gone now but uh, I had to uh, spray it so the blooms didn't like it but luckily they stayed on and still I had to go after spraying I had to wait for at least two weeks to, uh, to open the last blooms here but they made it they made it um, so yeah you can see here probably some marks I don't know if you can see it from this distance but you see the darker edges on uh, the sepals and um, so those are some uh, yeah bites leftovers from the uh, trips and then they start a little bit uh, start uh, getting some some fungus in there i think but it's not uh, the end of the world it doesn't look very pretty obviously but so far it's stabilized and it didn't go into the blooms or into the spikes luckily but as you can see this is a miniature fell um, but it has such a root system already it, it's almost like I wouldn't expect such uh, a big root system we're only talking about the aerials and uh, now for such a small very small uh, fell I would think that this one maybe had a little less roots than a bigger one but yeah I think the roots itself are, are bigger than the orchid itself so it's uh, kind of crazy but this one is a very happy uh, orchid and it's really happy uh, growing and yeah 13 spikes so let's count them let's start with this one and go clockwise so here is uh, number one and then we have two three four four spikes five six here are two together, so this is number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, here. And then we have number eleven, number twelve here in the back, and here in the front is number thirteen. And then we start with one again, so yeah, thirteen spike. Yeah, it's crazy, it's so beautiful. Let me uh, zoom in a little bit on the blooms, because um, then you can those beautiful uh, can you see the beautiful pattern on the, on them and they're now a little bit wobbly of course uh, I'm too, slowly going to show oops that's zooming out zooming in and just the camera a little bit I don't hope to make you dizzy uh, whoops let's grab this one so yeah that's better <laughs> beautiful right and I believe that the blooms can get a little bit bigger than uh, currently, but maybe that's because it has so many. And also during uh, when it's opened, the first few days, it's they 
do get a little bit bigger uh, but still I think they could be a little bit bigger but I'm, probably that's the amount of uh, of blooms you can uh, imagine how much it needs to support all the, these blooms so therefore they may be a little bit smaller but yeah I rather had them a little bit smaller and 13 spikes than one spike with uh, fairly large blooms because this is beautiful um, quite spectacular and I was looking forward so much to making this video I will uh, see if I can take it out of the pot for just a second so we can have a look how it's doing inside of the pot and there we go there we have it you can see roots coming out of the pot roots everywhere here in the back you can see a heck of a lot of root systems. So you, if you think about the roots inside the pot, outside of the pot, so that's what I uh, did refer to when I was talking for such a relative small miniature fell, such a root system. It's, it's almost crazy, but it's beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, this one is absolutely the best performer so far. My next one would probably my, be my Leodoro that has five spikes. And then I have a leopard something fell with four, but that one doesn't have much leaves. But and then we have most of them have one spike, sometimes double, sometimes three. But yeah, thirteen now. <laughs> and I I cannot I cannot remember if I ever saw it somewhere. Probably I I, I wouldn't be the only one, of course, that uh, did achieve this uh, sort of. Well, I must admit, I've probably, uh, well, it feels more like this, this plant is just performing very beautiful. So, uh, yeah, of course, I try to give it a good care so it can bloom, but still the, the plant uh, has put up all of the spikes. So that's the hard part of this, of course. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I, ca I can't remember that I ever, ever saw this. Um, of course, there sh would be more. Um, it, it happens more, of course, but... Um, yeah, I, I'm, I cannot say what you need to do to get this. The only thing is, uh, if you have all those spikes uh, that uh, were on here, as you can maybe see here, no, it's a little bit far away. Let me grab the arbor. These are the older ones that it came with when I uh, bought uh, this, this uh, fell. You can see the dark dots, but this did start to branch again. So. As long as those spikes are green, you can leave them on there. And if, of course, if your orchid is healthy, I wouldn't take off the spikes because then you can get multiple, multiple, multiple spikes. <laughs> so uh, the older spikes are just alive. And some people say I'm taking the off because I prefer new spikes and all this thing in them. That's okay, but I, uh, I like this. And this not always happens, but this can happen. If you just leave it over to the orchid and just watch and see what your plant is doing but this one we just saw the root system so yeah this 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 one can handle so many so many spikes because of a, a good strong healthy root system so that's why i don't take off spikes if not necessary that's a reason one a second reason is if you have a not so good growing orchid and you have some healthy green spikes there is still some energy in a spike so what the orchid probably will do uh, is get the energy back into the plant and use it uh, probably for growing a leaf or making new roots and that is what you want at that point of course so if a uh, orchid in that situation very very a bad situation uh, let's say rootless and it has a spike and it starts to branch i cut the branch off or i cut the flowers off or the buds so i leave the spike as complete as i can i only take off um growing points basically so i i'm trying to tell the orchid by doing that to stop putting energy in that spike but focus on roots and leaves because that's what we need in most cases we first need the roots obviously but that's something it's hard to tell of course but mostly if the orchid starts to recoup it will start to grow roots again and etc but that's my vision on it you not always have to have to cut spikes i think that you better couldn't take off the spikes if it only were for uh, like i said the reserve energy in there 
you just cut it off and throw it away. And I think that's very sad and it's very not needed. And I, of course, I do understand that if you have an empty spike, still green, it doesn't very look very beautiful, but still it's beneficial for the plant. Something uh, probably uh, to, th to uh, think about. And also I did forget to mention, uh, to show, is I have a little bit of sunshine these days. And you can see that this one is really, really loving the sunshine. We have a, a lot of happy sap uh, on the spikes. Also here, you can, yeah, these are a little bit better to see, I think. So yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah, and I almost forget, but this one is also here starting a keiki. It started already last year, but it's still there. It's still nice and green. So who knows, I will have another uh, beauty in this pot that can make her own spikes again. So yeah, you never know what happened, but I, I'm not sure if all these spikes stay, stay intact. So this may be the only one that I ever achieve uh, so many spikes with this plant because it gets older and some spikes die off and it may make new ones of course, but still. So therefore this one was, this video is very special. And I just want to say thank you that I can share it with you. Uh, it's so nice to have a uh, sort of audience, people that like uh, the same hobby and you can share. And this is just one of those beautiful things. So thank you so much for your time. And of course, if you didn't already, please sub consider subscribing to my channel. And for now, I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.